This North American mother is just fine, Mr. Medina. A little late, but uh, just fine. Show this note to your teacher. finishes our unit on the major wars of the 20th century. We have a few minutes to review the lessons that we should have learned from these wars. Maria, besides nationalism and economic rivalry, what led to these terrible hostilities? The same thing that starts all fights, mistrust. What else fuels the fires of war? Manual? Fear. Fear fuels all sorts of fights. I know firsthand, the more afraid two sides get, the more macho they act. You talk real big, and suddenly they're too afraid to back down. Well, you know what happens then. <laughs> what did you learn from your experience, Manuel? That it's better to duck and run. <laughs> That the other guy's ego is as sensitive as mine. In other words, if I want peace, I can't push the other guy into war. the school ought to be immensely rewarding. That's fine. Take your seat. I hate to ruin your fun, but this isn't the place. How about the gym? Fifteen minutes? The gym. Fifteen minutes. Whoa. Just pushing someone will get you suspended. Here, teachers have set up the fight. Been here about a week, right? Yeah. Why don't you drop by the gym and see how we fight? All right, let's go. Hank! Hank! 
I've got to talk to you. It's an emergency. What's the matter, kids? Put chalk on your seat again? No, this is serious. We've got to do something. I am doing something. I'm going home. You, we must go tell the principal. There's going to be a fight. The, the Medina kid is going to fight McIntyre. A hammer versus the mountain. Should be a good one. You're not going to believe this. Mr. Thomas arranged the whole thing. You're right. I don't believe it. It's true! In the gym in 15 minutes, and you've got to warn the office! I've got to warn the office. Do you know how they feel about me? <laughs> yes, I know exactly how they feel about you. This is serious! Hank! Hank! We've got to do something else! Hank! 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 You've got to stop this horrible thing before someone gets killed! Don't be overdramatic. A good fist fight can build character. The trouble with you, Hank, is you never do anything for anyone. I only do favors when they're not dumb little things. Dumb? So now I'm a dumb little thing. Dumb for trying to stop a war? Not dumb. Spineless. You're a spineless, cowardly chicken. You won't even speak up for yourself. My Me! I do need you to provide a bus. Um, yeah, yeah, if you provide the bus and we confirm the date, the mariachi can play at your school. Okay, I'll wait for your call. Thank you. Mr. Thomas, how can I help you? Well, I need to tell you something before you start hearing rumors. Mr. Thomas, not another story. I'm afraid so. I better get the door. Slug, you're just too lazy to go to the principal's office. Look, if you're too much of a coward to talk to the principal, write her a letter. But get off my back! All right, all right, but let me use your pen. Not on your life. The last time you borrowed my pen, you didn't give it back, you thief. Thief? Who are you calling a thief? What about my videotape, huh? Where's my videotape? You'll get your video back when I get my pen back. I lost your pen. I recorded over your video.
Very indict little airhead. I'm gonna punch your face in. Airhead, punch me. I dare ya. Go ahead, make my day. Real original. Can I write that down? You made a mistake being a teacher. You should have been a screenwriter. Well, at least I have some talent. I was born ready. You ready? Chicken? Call me chicken? Pig? Pig. What's going on here? Relax, Erica. You're going to see something you've never seen before. Okay. I'll fight fair. If you do. No problem. Just don't bag on my mother or my sister. And you stay away from my family. As long as you don't bring up the fight we had last year. You mean the one I won. <laughs> see? You see that? He already broke the rules. Rules? This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. The rules are no hitting. We really got to listen to one another. We keep it our two minutes. And we shake hands when we're done. Yeah. 
All right. Yeah. Mr. McIntyre, I'd be honored if you went first. Why, thank you, Mr. Medini. That's ever so kind. Let me begin by telling you that. When you came into class today, you looked at me for a long time. When you did that, it made me feel like something was wrong with me. I haven't had a lot of positive reinforcement, and as a result, I feel that people don't like me or respect me. I know you didn't cause these emotions, but at times they rise from deep in my soul and trouble me. What did he say? He's admitting that he has a self-esteem problem and that it's not Hammer's fault. He said that? Because of this, I felt like ripping your arm off when you knocked my book off my desk. I thought that you were calling me out, trying to make me look bad in front of my friends. I'm sorry you felt that way. It was purely an accident. Well, in the future, please don't stare at me the way you did today. And if you knock off my book, let me know it was an accident, not a willful act of aggression. Was he talking English? He told Hammer to say sorry the next time he knocks over his books. That way Mountain will know it was an accident. Yeah, I knew that. First, let me express my deepest apologies for contributing to your feelings of inadequacy. When I entered the classroom today, I was staring at you because I liked your shirt. In fact, I have always admired you. Because you have always seemed so self-assured, I thought a low self-esteem was my problem alone. Yeah. Okay. As for knocking off your book, well, the doctor says I grew too fast, so I'm still a bit clumsy. When I bumped your book, I felt really embarrassed, so please accept my apology. I've had it. I don't know what's going on here, but it's not normal. Shut up! Sit down! Right. You guys fight weird at this school. Not weird. Fair. It's called fighting fair. It keeps people from getting hurt and makes the school a friendly place. I accept your apology, and thank you for the high praise. It seems that this is all a misunderstanding. Friends? Friends. You guys had me worried for a while then. Can I have faith, Thomas? I do. Just sometimes it's hard for us to accept that underneath all the tough talk, we're all really very much the same. Yeah. Like we said, no matter how tough we seem on the outside, right. underneath, we're all the same. So fight fair! Right. 